Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Basics of R. I am Kannan Modgalya. In this tutorial, we hope to provide a feel for R and R Studio. How can R be used as a calculator? How to use built-in functions like sign and log, introduction to vector operations, introduction to plotting, taking help in R Studio, and where to get more information on R and R Studio. To understand this tutorial, one needs to know elementary maths, for example, log, sign, and plotting. Please locate this tutorial on our website, spokentutorial.org. We provide many useful supplementary material in this page. No programming background is required, however, to understand this tutorial. I am using version 3 of R, using RStudio 0.97. R and R Studio work on web browsers also. Hence, these are easily accessible from every operating system, including Akash. Let us continue with the system requirements. For this tutorial, I am using Mac OS X 10.7.4, but the usage is similar in Linux and Windows as well. Let us give a quick introduction to R. R is an outstanding software for general computations. It is especially suitable for statistical computing. It is an alternative to SPSS. It is a free and open source software. It can be downloaded from cran.r-project.org. Let us now give a quick introduction to RStudio. RStudio is a friendly front end to R. It is a free and open source software. It can be downloaded from rstudio.com. A two minute video by the RStudio team is available here. Let me return to the slides. RStudio also runs on a web browser. Here is a screenshot of R and RStudio on a web server accessed from Akash. Let us do a practice session on R using RStudio. You now see RStudio on the screen. I have shrunk its size quite a bit to fit into a small screen. Please use a size you are comfortable with. I have also enlarged the font size so that the recording is clear. You do this on Windows and Linux by pressing Ctrl and plus keys together. For this tutorial, I want to maximize the size of the console of our studio. I do this by pressing the maximize button in the console window. I also maximize the right lower window of RStudio in a similar manner. Let me begin multiplying two numbers 2.1 and 5. R gives the answer in black as 10.5. I want to divide this by 3. I will recall the previous command by clicking the up arrow, what I typed earlier, namely 2.1 into 5 appears. I will divide this by 3 to get the answer 3.5. I can add two numbers. I can store the result in a variable using the assignment operator, less than symbol followed by hyphen. One can also use an equal sign. If I want to see what is in a variable, I just type the variable name. In this case, I type A and see that it has 5. I will subtract 0 0.16 from A. I will raise it to the power 0 0.5. Remember, I have to put A minus 0 0.16 within brackets to get the correct answer we get 2.2 as expected using the left and right arrows I moved the cursor back and forth within a command I can also carry out the same calculation using the function call square root I will find the value of e by using the function call exp. You may have noticed the moment I open a bracket, 
or automatically closes it. This eliminates errors due to unmatched brackets. So we see the value of E above. I can find the natural logarithm of E with the help of the log function. The value is 1 as expected. How do we find the log to the base 10? Use the command log 10, 10 to the power 5, this gives answer as 5 as expected. What happens if I forget the 10 in the log 10? We get a different answer. It is easy to verify that this answer is correct for natural logarithm. Can you please suggest a method to verify this? There is another way to find the logarithm to the base of 10. Give the base as the second parameter as I do here. We get 5 as expected. It is easy to create vectors in R. Z equals this EQ minus 1 comma 2 comma 0 0.5. This creates a vector starting at minus 1 going up to 2 in increments of 0.5. SEQ denotes sequence. Let us see the value of Z. We will see other ways to create vectors in another tutorial. We can calculate the length of the vector z using the command length. We get the result 7 as expected. We will now discuss pi. The value of pi is stored in the variable pi pi which we can see now. Let us create a vector x to start from minus 2 pi, go up to plus 2 pi in increments of 1. Please remember to put the multiply sign. Let us see what x contains. Let us find the sign of this vector using sign and store it in y. We can work directly with vectors in R as we did above. Let us see what Y contains. Let us plot sin x versus x with type equals L argument added. Note that x comes first and then Y. This plot starts from 0 as expected because sine of minus 2 pi is 0. The plot is not smooth as there are not many points. Let us now get more points by lowering the increment number to 0.1. What happens if I try to plot without recalculating y? R will complain that the lengths are unequal. You should pause the video and confirm that the lengths are unequal. Let me recalculate y. Let me replot this curve. You can see that the plot is smoother now. Please pause the video now and look at the values stored in x and y. Please confirm that these values are as per expectation. We see the lengths of x and y to be You should verify that these lengths are correct. You should also display the values of x and y and verify. If you drop the type parameter in the previous command, we get a plot with points. Let us press the help button in the right hand side window. Let us type plot next to the length symbol. and hit return. Let us scroll. 
one can see different choices for the type parameter. We have come to the end of this tutorial. Let us see a few low cost books on R. In this tutorial, we learnt about a few elementary operations, introduction to plotting, introduction to help, URLs and books on R and RStudio. We now suggest an assignment, find answers to log 2 of 2 to the power 5 and log of e squared. Please explain your answers. Explore the help tab in RStudio, change the labels, title, etc. Hint, try the plot command with x lab argument. Copy paste a few examples provided in help and see what they do. This video summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you may download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials, give certificates. Please contact us. The Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. Thanks for joining. Goodbye.